On an Iron Man account, crafting is an important skill to train in order to tear up your magic and ranged armor as well as to make wands and orbs and complete various quests. It's such a vital skill to train, but seems to require so much time and investment for the return. Today I'm going to be showing you three effective ways to train crafting at the intermediate levels and beyond without being able to buy your materials. Number 3 Hard Leather Boots Hard leather boots are unique in the crafting skill as an item which is worth far more gold than other items made of similar materials. They sell to general stores for 300 GP each and high alchemy for 600. Since it only costs 3 GP and some thread to create these boots, this means you're making almost 300 GP each cow you kill. While the experience per hour is not the best, this is a great way to gain crafting experience while generating early game gold to fund your other endeavors. Number 2. Cockroach Soldiers Cockroach Soldiers are another option at low crafting levels, which can generate lots of gold, especially with the use of high alchemy. They have a 100% drop of carapace, every two of which will give you 24 crafting experience for making carapace legs. Now the legs high alchemy for 2100 GP a piece, so this is a great way to generate gold and crafting experience while also getting some combat experience. The Cockroach Soldiers drop some pretty cool items as well, including noted mithril and adamantite ore, uncut gems, and rune scimitars and square shields, which can greatly increase GP per hour if high alchemied. Number 1. Temple Trekking Temple Trekking is a classic minigame that's been around for over 8 years now in which you will lead adventurers through Mauritania from one side of Mort Meyer to the other. In order to do this method, some questing is involved. You'll have to do Priest of Peril in Search of the Myrek, in, uh, in Aid of the Myrek, and uh, Darkness of Hallow Vale in order to do this method. You only need to do up to in Aid of the Myrek in order to play the, the minigame itself, but it's advised to do Darkness of Hallow Vale as well to unlock the return trip called Bird Durot Ramble. All in all, this will require numerous skills to be in the 20s or 30s, full list in the description below. So this is the hardest method in this list, but it has numerous benefits. First of all, getting silver bars as a reward from Temple Trekking is one of the fastest ways an Iron Man account can bank crafting experience. With the potential to get thousands of silver bars per hour, it destroys mining or, other har or harvesting most other hides for banks crafting experience per hour. Once you've earned the bars, they can be used to make unstrung holy symbols for 50 crafting experience, and they sell for 60 GP at the general store, training crafting at a rate of 50k experience an hour or more. Training crafting in this way will also mean you're leveling up your companions through the trek, which can unlock pretty potent rewards, including the Ouroboros pouch, an infinitely charged druid pouch, the constructor's outfit, which provides 1% bonus experience to construction per piece equipped, and there are other rewards as well, including the lumberjack outfit for bonus woodcutting experience. Not only that, but temple trekking will work as a method to obtain bowstrings, raw sharks, low to high level herbs, or tomes of experience and skills like agility, thieving, hunter, woodcutting, and mining. It's a massively useful piece of content and I would suggest you go unlock it if you haven't already. So that's my top three ways to train crafting for an Iron Man on RuneScape. As always, thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video to support what I'm doing. Leave a comment down below if there are any good crafting training methods that I missed and if you have a question about RuneScape you'd like answered, leave that down there too.